Hey what's going on guys, Evan from Model3D and about a week ago I received another package from Kickstarter something I backed for my 3D printer so let's get over to it and see what we got. So as I said in one of my previous videos I'm a big fan of Kickstarter I spend a lot of time on there, I mean, like backing stuff that I can't just pop in the shop and find um, I received the Flex3D this time around this is a uh, flexible slightly semi-rigid build plate um, you just pop it to your printer using the Flex 3D um, Bulldog clips and you print straight to the surface it's got a nice kind of grainy texture to it what sold me about this when I first saw it was the, the opportunity to be able to pull it straight off and flex it to be able to get a part off um, I ended up cracking the glass on my DaVinci 1.0A by going a bit manic with the uh, paint scraper and basically scraping the hell out of it trying to get my part off and end up cracking the glass so I needed to replace that so this seems like a, a really good option to be able to just pop it on your print bed pull it off when it's done, flex it, part breaks off no broken glass basically so in the package you receive the build plate this is the 8 inch option um, this will fit both my One How Duplicator i3 and my DaVinci 1.0a so after I've had a play around with it, if I'm really happy with it, I'll get a few more. They've also got an option for a frame, so you can attach the frame directly to your printer and hot swap in the build plates. This is really good for those people that are printing a lot and haven't got the time to um, obviously remove the part from the build plate. So they can put that to one side, pop a new plate on, and then while the uh, new print is going, they can obviously remove the part. So also in the packaging, I received uh, two of the branded Flex 3D um, Bulldog clips. These are to clip on either side or front and back onto your um, current build plate so that you can attach the Flex 3D. Um, you've got a glass leveling puck. This is for printers with an auto leveling system like the Da Vinci has. Um, you basically put this under the nozzle every time it's auto leveling so that it's got the right kind of level distance between the build plate. Obviously you don't want your hot end to actually touch the build plate because then you'll melt it and you'll ruin it for future prints and you'll have to buy another one. And lastly we have a Flex 3D vinyl sticker and the instructions. It's really simple. Like I said before you just attach it to your bed, uh, make sure it's level, make sure it's not too close so it doesn't melt into the build plate um, and print away. Um, you don't need any heat to be able to print onto it. Uh, it's got a really nice kind of grippy texture so it should be ideal really. I'm going to pop it on my One How Duplicator i3. I'm going to print a hell of a lot of stuff on it, lots of different materials, um, aluminium, brass, um, normal PLA, maybe some ABS. So I'll mention in one of the next videos how I'm finding it. Hopefully it should um, cure any kind of issues you have with having to use hairspray or glue or uh, ABS slurry or anything like that. So if it works well, then yeah, it's going to be great. I'm really, really excited for it. It was only about $20 for the frame and the um, two bulldog clips, which is really really reasonable um, especially because they say in the video that they've been printing over um, 100 hours for absolutely ages on it and they haven't had a problem um, so it should last me a while I'll pop a link down in the description now that Kickstarter is over you can't obviously back it but you can um, purchase or pre-order through their site so that'll be down in the description so lastly I pulled off the sheet that was protecting the shiny side of the plate um, it seems really nice it seems really sturdy but yet flexible um, they say in the video that the larger plates will be um, obviously more flexible due to the size of the plate but this is, seems really really nice it, nice and strong um, if you do this with like normal plexiglass it would um, snap or crack so I'm really impressed with it so far it looks like it's going to work really well so I can't wait to get it on my printer and print like hell on it basically if you like the video please make sure to click the thumbs up um, subscribe if you haven't already and maybe pop some suggestions down in the comments of some videos you'd like to see me do in the future. Uh, I've got lots of good stuff coming, um, lots of cool stuff with Voltivo and overclockers. So that should be fun, and I'll see you in the next video.